So I purchased these beads off of Amazon. These are pony beads and they're nine millimeter. And I got a thousand beads for $7. And I will actually have the link below so you can purchase it as well if you'd like to through Amazon. All we're doing is putting the beads in. First bead is to keep your second bead from coming off. And now I'll just fold it in half, place another bead in, and that's it. So it literally will take you just 10 seconds to place two beads on your elastic cord for your face mask, and now they're adjustable for anyone who needs to make it tighter or someone who needs to make it wider. All right, so now we're just gonna proceed to um, sewing our elastic cords onto the mask. Here is the mask I've already done. And now I'm just putting the elastic cords on there. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I made this face mask. And the pattern that I used is one that I created and it is in the link below if you want to print it out, cut it and use it for yourself. I'll also show you how I sew this face mask step by step using the pattern. And there you have it, an adjustable face mask. As you can see, you can tighten it and loosen it. So now I'm going to make my face mask. Here's the pattern that you can download and print out. Again, the link will be below. And so now I'm just cutting out my fabric based on the pattern that I have. And my fabric is layered, so there is two pieces of fabric underneath this one pattern that I'm cutting. So I'm actually using hair clips to keep my pattern on my fabric, I find that it's much easier than using a pin because um, you can move them easily and you don't prick yourself, which I've done many times. Okay, so now I'm just cutting out my second set and you should have a total of four pieces of fabric. Okay, next what we're gonna do is fold along the line so your pattern will become a little bit smaller and this is what you're gonna use to cut your cotton flannel. And so what I'm using in this face mask is 100% cotton fabric for my mask and uh, cotton flannel for my filter.
So you should have two pieces of cotton flannel cut out. I'm gonna take two pieces of my fabric and place one on top of the other and make sure that your print is on the inside. And then you're going to place a cotton flannel piece, one on top, one on the bottom, and just line them up as best that you can. And you're going to sew right on the curved line straight down. And once you do that, you're going to sew straight down the center of the mask. And what I'm doing is I'm just pulling the piece of fabric that's underneath all to one side so that when I sew down the center, um, it's neatly folded onto one side. And this also gives you a nice uh, look to your mask with the stitches in the front. Okay, you're going to do the same with your last two pieces of fabric. Again, you're gonna make sure that the print is on the inside and sew all the way down the curve of the front of your mask. And again, sew straight down the center. Okay, and what you're gonna do now is place your two pieces one on top of the other and make sure the print is facing the inside and again you can either pin or clip it together I prefer using the hair clips because they're much faster and much easier to use and you just line it up as best that you can And now you're going to sew along the edges here and here. So now I'm just going to sew straight down one side. And then you'll stop there and pick up your needle and sew straight down the other side. And so we're going to use both ends of the mask to flip your fabric inside out. So that's why we're not sewing in the edges of the mask. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and flip my mask around. Okay, and then this is what it looks like before you add on your ear loops.
Okay, so I cut my elastic bands about 10 and a half inches long. I find that this is the perfect length for you to add your beads and make your mask adjustable. I hope that you all found this video helpful, especially for anyone who is making their own mask and finding it kind of difficult to determine how long your elastic cords should be. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share with everyone so that they are able to make their mask adjustable.